Today we got an unboxing of a Fender Flare kit for my KRX 1000 Kawasaki. This is from West Coast. Hang on, let me get this right. Sorry, Right Coast Off Road. Right Coast Off Right Coast Off Road. Sorry about that. Uh, they are in the U.S. and just through long. Long hours of investigating, the KRX definitely needs something on the front to keep the mud from flying at your head in the face. Uh, again, bad design on Kawasaki's part. Some of the things that are silly. Um, so this is a flare kit, not as you know uh, elaborate as the Kawasaki one, but also one third the price. So I don't do things for mostly for functionality, not so much for looks. Um, so let's get this unboxed and see what we've got. I'm also, because my notice my videos, the volume of my voice is high and low and it's all on the camera. Microphone, so I bought a set of these uh, Hollyland, Hollyland Bluetooth. I'm not real good at hooking up Bluetooth, and these things came hooked up real, real easy. I, it's on right now. I'm gonna test, see how well it works once I uh, stop this video and go back and look at it. But anyways, yeah, if you're gonna do any type of mic talking or in a garage, your voice is doing this. You need you need a microphone. So I'm running that today, and that I'll, get, I'll post a link in the description for that. It was an Amazon purchase, but they hook up super easy, and uh, it, they seem to work. Okay, so in the box we have fender flares. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't know if they're front or back. I'll figure that out in a minute. Set that right there. These ones are. Shorter, I'm gonna say this is rear. Yeah, this is rear. So yeah, there's not much to them, but like I said, you don't need a lot, maybe four inches to help from getting shit in your face. And then I also, believe it or not, the uh, fuel air valve, everyone's out of stock, everyone. And I know I need it. So I got them off him. Let's see what that looks like. More pieces here. Looks like two more pieces. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, six six pieces now. Oh, it looks like it's the hardware kit. All right. That's what it. That's in the box. Let's toss that. That is tossed. So I guess that's right coast off-road. All right, so yes, in this package is my fuel valve. Where's my knife go? He ships to Canada, it was an extra $45. He usually has free shipping, but uh, $45 was pretty uh, reasonable to Canada. I did have to pay uh, tax, and uh, I did have to pay tax on the Canadian value at the post office when I went to pick it up. All right, I think this was uh, 20 bucks, and that will solve that issue. We won't do that in this video. We're just doing the, uh, the fender flares. All right, so. Unboxing. It looks like we've got a whole bunch of uh, push, push pins. And we got these two, these two, and those two. I will basically figure out where they go. Okay. Hold them up. Anyways, let's uh, get to the install. So, just a correction. I ordered it from Right Coast 
off-road. But this is the uh, spike kit. I thought the guy made it, but no, it's, I now I remember. This is the spike kit from Wright Coast Off-Road. Say that 10 times. So in that last video, I mentioned that I had purchased uh, a set of these uh, pop pin tools from Amazon. Like I said, I've been 58 years, I've never owned anything like this. These pot, this style pop pins has been around for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. I just used to do a screwdriver, pop them out, but you ruin them. So as soon as I bought this and I started watching videos, I was like, you gotta have these tools. This thing's got pop pins everywhere. Anyways, I'll post a link in the description for these again. They're like nine bucks, like it's crazy. Like all these years I never bought uh, the, this tool and uh, it's crazy. So anyways, we got the uh, instructions here and they want you to start at the uh, passenger side. It says temporarily remove the OEM push type retainers. Da -da 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 -da. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go to this one. This is what I was using the other day. Yeah, that one's better. I'm just gonna keep these up there. Give you a whole bunch of new ones, so I don't know if we're going to reuse what, these ones or use the new ones. Well, I got a bunch of spares now. The job I did uh, the other day with the signal kit, I had one left over, so I don't know. I couldn't find a hole that needed it. I'm sure it's somewhere I'm not seeing. Yeah, so much easier with this. Two, three, four, five. That's five. So let's get this fender. All right. Because this is a, a bit of an odd shape here. Start with the push pins right now to get it where I kind of see. I'm assuming the smooth end goes on the inside. Why would they have the rough end? This has got like a texture to it. I'm going to say the rough end is going on the outside. Well, I must have this right. You know what? Maybe those push pins are a little bit longer than these. Maybe that's why they... Maybe we should be using the new ones. That seems like it's fine, but let's compare. These are probably cheap, so... They're the same, but they haven't been squished, so it might be easier to put in. Let's try it. Yeah. Easier. So I'll save these uh, factory ones, and I'll use theirs. I should have bought new one of these for the single kit and uh, I can fight with those other ones. It, these can't be much money. I, just, I know there's more holes in this than what is in this. So I got a drill. Yeah, there's a spot to drill down there. Right, 
like that. So we right now are out of holes. So this is where you gotta, there's a hole right there that has no hole, so we have to drill. And there's a hole down the bottom that there is no hole for. We gotta drill. So there's two holes here, and then one, two, three, four, five holes we gotta drill. Okay, so I'll get this out of the way. Drill bit. I'm gonna say we got a drill bit that size. Oh, oh it's saying use little clamps. Yeah, I understand. So I gotta get some little clamps. Clamp that securely to it. It's kind of hard to see it in this picture, but those are clamp, 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 clamp and then drill holes so they don't want you moving around. So yeah, let's set that up. All right, this is all I got. This is probably heavier than what we need, but two of these. Okay, that's flush. That is flush. Now it's saying drill this out, but only going a half inch. They don't want you to hit something on the other side. But along here, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in the back. That, that lines up pretty perfect. So I'm going to do this one here. What do you think? Let's see if that... It may be a little bit too small to drill bit. No, but it's not. Perfect. Easy peasy. picture it has a drill going through the fender and it says don't do that. Alright, I will this literally after doing that signal kit it's pretty easy. This is where I gotta be careful. light. There we go. Tight, tight. There's a little gap there, but that's a pretty uh, tight spot. So I got to drill that lower one in too. There's two more holes down low, but uh, there's nothing to drill them into. I don't know what they're for, if it's a brace or something, but, or maybe this year model doesn't have that. Get you back set up. 
So I gotta drill that hole down at the bottom. I may have to turn the steering, the steering wheel. Maybe not. Yeah, I gotta turn it just a little bit. Turn to the right. Very limited, uh, uh, what do you call it, experience with uh, side by sides. Very limited. I had that Coyote diesel. That's basically my experience. And uh, it turned like a tractor. I don't know about Polaris and uh, Can Am, but this thing turns like a golf cart. Like it's it's so tight. It may be the worst turning of the bunch. I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm almost going to put, oh, there is one there. That's, it does need one there. I was going to say, I was going to drill one there just to. That went through two pieces of plastic. This needs a bit. There's some crap in there. Apologize for my furnace running, but oh, that's a tough one. I'm freezing in here. Hmm. It's not expanding. I'll fix it. There. Okay, so, man, they're tough. That is not going anywhere. But yeah, these two holes down here, there's nothing to go behind them. I don't know, I don't know if another model of KRX has gotten somewhere to drill this. Maybe it's a uh, skid, skid arm or something. But anyways, that is, that's on there. All right, let's go to the next side. Actually, I'll show you one front and one rear. I'm gonna do the left front without you, and uh, but I'll be right back. All right, so the fronts are done, both fronts. I think it looks basically stock. It looks like these. this machine should have come with these. Uh, it's flared out a little bit at the bottom there. It definitely will keep you with less mud in the truck in the uh, car and uh, let me just get that around you see that and I think it looks fantastic there you go there's both fronts on sorry I'm holding my light because it's a bit of a shadow there that's definitely going to take if you look at that angle to the driver all that mud off off the driver so that's what you want, that's what I bought them for. And they look good, can't complain. I'll take a picture of it outside when I'm done with the backs on too. So now I'm just going to the backs and uh, they should be just as easy as the fronts. Uh, maybe I'll run the camera a little bit, take you along. So we're running into a bit of a snag with this flare kit. Not a problem, not a problem, but this is trail edition. You've got this roll bar here. So basically I had to cut this much of it out. And then how are we? Right there. This much. I cut it. I've got some heavy duty scissors. It's, it's really thick. It almost is too thick for my scissors, but uh, they're great big uh, steel scissors. So, or you could uh, 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 grind it off like with a wheel. But uh, this is just pre-fit. This part, this instructions is asking you to put the two together and then hold it up, but I knew where that one was going by the look of it. 
And yeah, so now it's gonna be like that. So I've got this piece missing. So not a deal killer by any means, um, but uh, yeah, you've gotta do a little bit of trimming. I hope I did it right, or I just wrecked the rear piece, but I'm pretty sure that this is uh, what, what has to happen for this part to fit. And then you uh, just mold this, bend this over, join the two, and uh, we'll continue on. I'll give you an update as I go. So I've got the front ones done up and the uh, that piece cut out for the uh, rock slider roll bar. And then at the back, you're gonna have to trim off some of this as well because it doesn't want to fit. It wants to fit snug right like that. Something like that. Yeah, go around like that. Oh, it might be, it might be all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk it up the fender and screw in until I get back here and find out where I need to trim. So it looks like in the back here, we're gonna have to trim this flat to about there. I'm just gonna grab my magic marker. And uh, yeah, once that's trimmed, this can come up and get fastened. So you're losing about an inch and a half of your mud flap, but then you've got this to catch the mud. So let's get that down in a minute. May have been easier off of the unit. I think you know what I was doing. Perfect. All right, let's get that uh, glued and screwed. This is a pretty good fit, fitting product, I must say. Almost perfect. So there is the right rear. Oh yeah, maybe, oh, I could probably leave that. Yeah, I'll leave that. I don't have to cut that a little bit extra off because it's not. Uh... So yeah, you just had to cut that part off. I guess I could have cut it a little bit straighter, but uh, at that point, mud's hitting this anyways. No big whoop. Got the flare angled up a little bit like it is. Turn around, look at the back. That will definitely help keeping anything uh, strange coming in from the passenger side. That looks good. I didn't want the full-size Kawasaki ones because they were rigid and they're bolted to the thing, to the side of this. And you, you, you rub a tree, it might do some serious damage to this fender and that fender. Well, that fender is you're replacing, but this fender here, if it tears away and now you have no fender to mount at least with this thing here it's just push pins 
and that's pretty uh, flexible. So yeah, the, the damage will be less than with the Cowie ones. I think the Cowie ones are just a bit too stout. This is uh, perfect. I think the only thing that would be better is if you could cut like a mud flap material in here, but there's the four pins that connect the two pieces together. You got a little bit of that showing. I don't know. That's fine. What do you got there? They should do like maybe another set of buttons or something, but then the price would go up and we don't want that. So there you go. So that's the right side done. Let's go over to the left. I'll try to show you things I didn't show you on this side because I was just kind of going to use this uh, right one as a test to get it done properly. And then I would show you the next one. So it didn't have all my boo-boos in it. Anyways, all right, let's go to the left side. All right, so on the driver's side, the last corner to do, you only do uh, two push pins on this side, right here. Right there. I'll set that right there. I'm, I'm gonna use the new ones. And then there's one in behind this roll bar that I want you to take out. But of course we have the issue with the rock slider that we have to just move these up. Yeah, you'd never get it out. So only the two push pins to pull out on the on the rears. So then what you need to do is uh, you gotta cut this one again. So in order to find the cutting point, what I did is I just stuck this push pin in right here. In the hole that we don't have to drill. Lock that in. And then this gives you a rough estimate of where you need to cut. You want to leave the fastener part and just cut this notch out. Actually, what I should do is go get the template that I just threw out. So we'll take our magic marker and basically I should have just done this because we already have the, the template. Match that up. There we go. That other side got cut out pretty good, so that was just with my eye. This one here, I'll copy the other side. So yeah, you can cut this with a uh, angle grinder or just this with these. So there are two exact pieces cut out. Get our new pins. This thing here has to be bent. I'm pretty sure it's bent back. Let me just double check. It's bent back because it mates with the rear. It says in the instructions to put these two together, but I found this was easier. Put them together first. I found this was easier. And then there's a, the hole that we took out the pin. So for the rest of this one, you need your, uh, any of these. That sucks that right in. I'll just 
there's a couple more uh, push pin holes down here. Maybe I'll, I didn't do the, I didn't, I didn't drill them out on that side. This one here you can't because it's behind the pole, but that one there I can drill it. Let's do that now. Because uh, we've got our alignment. These things are handy. I bought them on sale at Harbor Freight. But, uh, so I'm going to drill that lower one out. They weren't that much. I actually use them a lot more than you think for different jobs. I'm going to do that one down there. Probably on the other side too, I missed it. So that looks good. I'm going to leave that connected there because there's a lot of stress on that. Yep, I understand. I just forgot for a minute what I need to do here. This comes down also, and you attach it with four screws or four pinch pins like that. There we go. And then that helps line up that back one too. Those four are in now. Okay, so now we're going to walk this up like we did the other side. And that piece is going to cut off. Maybe, maybe I'll cut that off now. Oh. 
right, so let's walk. You don't have to cut more off that. Don't forget the scissors are up there. I will forget. Okay. So just ride it with your finger to catch the inner fender of the other fender so you know you're in the right spot. That's what I'm thinking. Let's shove this down a bit to get that spot tight. Like that. Yeah, I see that's going to go down more. So yeah, we're trying to bring this fender up tight up front here. Like so. Keep that lined up. There. All right. Just tight, drill a few holes. It's really narrow there, so you ain't got much meat to work with. Still in good shape. Going on straight. Yep, even. Alright. Oh, sorry my nose around. I shut the furnace off because it's so noisy. Tight, 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 tight. This microphone, yep, we like the one. All right, so yeah, that one was right on a drill, drill point. Nice. Alright, two more left and it looks like I trimmed that almost perfect. Good enough. Check the spacing. Oh, 
I might want to take a little bit more. It's rubbing just a hair. Where are the scissors? For some reason, this one doesn't need to be trimmed on this side. I must have cut that one in too far into the, because this one I didn't have to trim here. I don't know if you were, if you were turned on for that or not. On the other side. There we go. Sorry about the dirt. There's the back view. Let me not trip over something. There's the back view. Down the side view. Down the other side view. And let's go to the front. Down that side view, front view. And this side view. So that wraps up the spike fender flare install video. I'm trying to get it in the picture. Um, on my 2022 KRX 1000, brought to you by right coast off-road they basically have the cheapest price on the internet um that's not why i ordered them from him i found them at his uh, on his youtube videos uh, of him installing them and uh explaining how they had tried every type of fender flare there is to try and had found the one that they thought was the best until they found this one and then he installed it and then i ordered a set and got them shipped up to canada uh, shipping's usually free for him, but uh, Canada was an extra $45 because it's a nuisance. You got to run to the post office and it's a lot more of a pain in the nuts for our vendors in the States to send to us. And we appreciate that because uh, a lot of them don't. And uh, there we go. That's the end of this video. So right coast off-road and spike fender flares for your KRX. All right. Bye.